you know, I'm, I'm getting at the, the power incentives for the guys who are maybe behind the levers, but you're saying, but the fact that this is working, it's, it's so easy to see through, and yet it is just, it's working on, on the masses and on the Christian masses. Um, it seems like that's your biggest concern, and, and I agree, that's a huge concern. That's one of my big concerns as a pastor, and I've preached against that, so I don't really have that in my local church. My local church knows better because I've preached on this from the pulpit and in podcasts like this. It's not a, once a week wasn't enough. So I've ramped it up and doing other things. And, and so my sheep, you know, they're Christ sheep, but the ones that I'm stewarding as a local pastor, this is not their issue. But I still am concerned for so many Christians that I hear about outside of my church. So what do you think, Jeff? What do you think is why are people falling for it? Why aren't they curious? Why aren't they poking and pressing and questioning? So... Our savior is three things, right? The way, the something, and the life. What's the something? Truth. The truth. Where is truth today? Right? Is it in the media? No. <laughs> is it from those five guys, right? That are, in, that are running every, is it from Joe Biden? Or whoever's telling Joe Biden what to say? Right. Yeah. No. Right. No. Where, where is it? Is it in the minds of all these deluded people? No. I, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. And I bet you haven't either. And I bet most of us haven't seen anything like this, this persistent, untruthful delusion that is antibiotic resistant, let's say, right? If you've ever tried to sit down with someone and, and talk them out of it, what happens? They don't listen, right? You they usually dig their heels in and become more convinced of, you know, of the other side. And not, not because of logic, but they just like this emotional reaction. Yeah, they, they may become angry with you. Right. Which is what happens. Listen to this. Clinical levels of paranoia. That's how people react. When you try to convince them that their paranoid beliefs aren't reasonable, then they can, they become hostile and angry. Mm -hmm. And so I believe to answer your question, what we're seeing is an epidemic, a worldwide epidemic of mental illness. Mm -hmm. One characteristic of which is clinical levels of paranoia, right? The vaccinated people believing that all the va unvaccinated people are out to get them right that's right. that's paranoia and schizophrenia people who are suffering from delusions and truth is irrelevant to them right a schizophrenic right. doesn't care what's true yeah they're not even looking for the truth right their their brain isn't working properly and so they've they've constructed a whole different reality for themselves and so to answer your question unfortunately because i'm an optimist right and i don't like to dwell on on the negatives but i think that what we have is a a literal epidemic right not a covid style epidemic a literal epidemic of mental illness like we have never seen before where huge numbers of the population are clinically paranoid and possibly schizophrenic, high functioning schizophrenics. Hmm. That's what I think. Wow. I have, I've heard a lot of commentary on the pandemic, Christians responses, government responses. That's the first time I've heard that. And I think that that is really insightful. I think you know, I shouldn't be smiling. I just, I, I just, it was so interesting and profound when you said it, you know, it kind of caught me off guard, not, not because it was extreme, but because it, it really makes a lot of sense, but I shouldn't be smiling because that's terrible news. It's a very dangerous situation. Yeah. And so we need the church now more than ever. We need the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need pastors to be men to preach, to care, to love. We need the church on Sunday to be the church and Monday through Saturday to get out of the four walls and to be the church and to fight for people's rights and to go and visit the sick. You know, 
what you were saying earlier was it, it was it was good. It was convicting even for me that it, not just producing content. Content's important, but but beyond just that, uh, Jesus, you know, it just reminded me when you're talking about you know people dying alone because they can't be visited, widows and orphans. And I just thought of the words of Jesus who said, like, you know, you you visited me when I was in prison. You know, you you cared for me when I was sick. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I like, when did we do this for you? When you did it for the, the least of these, my brothers. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If so, would you consider supporting this ministry by giving a donation of any amount? You can do so by going to our website, rightresponseministries.com. Let's be frank. Sadly, many evangelical pastors and leaders are serving as nothing more than water carriers for the political left. Just as those in the political left hate you, just like those corporations that are left-leaning hate you, these pastors and evangelical leaders hate you. I know that's a strong, a strong statement to make. I'm aware of that, but it's true. They don't care about your personal liberty. They don't care about your freedom. They want you to love your neighbor at the expense of biblical truth, even if it means bearing false witness. That's not us. We're different. We're not the only ones. I don't want to be arrogant. God has reserved a remnant for himself in this time as he has all other ages and all other places, but they are few and far between. It's called a remnant for a reason. We need your help. We want to stand up to tyranny. We want to stand up to this new left totalitarian regime. We want to defend Christians and people, the salt of the earth, who love America and who love God's word. But we can't do it without your help. If you're not prepared or able to give a financial gift, one way that you can support this ministry is by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell so that you'll be notified as we come out with new content. You can also help us by sharing our content on all your social media platforms so that more people can hear the truth of God's word with courage and fidelity. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.